YouTube of Gordon Water Family. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to correct your Copic Color artwork. And so we have a scanned in Copic Color artwork here. So what we're gonna do is, you know, to just to spice it up to make it look a lot more, you know, cleaner. You know, we we go to adjustments and go to brightness and and, and levels. Okay. So we're gonna go to we're gonna select the, the brightness and contrast and the and the levels, okay? And so with the with the brightness and contrast, we're gonna turn the brightness to uh, to around you know 70 or 69 or whatever whatever to your liking, you know. And so we're gonna uh, you know play a little bit with the, the brightness, you know, to 10 or so. The brightness doesn't like matter that much, you know. It well it depends on what you're going for, really. And after that, we're we, we're done, okay? So we're gonna go to the level section now, and you know, change that up a little bit. Just to make it like look appealing to our eyes and whatnot. And so it it, it looks a lot more cleaner. Now and so, what what are we going to do with you know some of the corrections or mistakes here? Okay, so if you're using a uh, if you're doing you know traditional, you may think that you, you may not be able to correct your work, but you know once you like have it scanned in, you know what you can do is just use the the clone tool, you know. Yeah, you could use the clone tool to correct the. You know a shadowing mistake or or whatnot that you did here and so I'm gonna select a I'm gonna make a new layer okay and as I make a new layer I want to make sure that this layer is above the levels and the brightness because it's gonna like it's just gonna like you know it's not gonna look right you know when you when you're doing the uh, when you're doing the uh, the cloning tool so it has to be above the levels and the brightness and so what we're gonna do now is just select a we're gonna hit alt on our keyboard okay and I'm using a Windows computer so we're gonna hit alt and we're gonna select the spot from the hair and then what we're gonna do here is just you know clone it so that you know just to fix the mistake and whatnot you know And if we had used the, uh, if we put the layer underneath the, the levels and the contrast, the colors would have came out a, a little bit brighter, and it wouldn't like really match as well. So yeah. But yeah, you get the gist. You would use the clone tool to correct, you know, little mark marker mistake that you make. And so, if you were to correct the, uh, you know, and, or you could like fill in all the white spots here, you know, just by using the, uh, the clone tool, you know. And so, if you were, if you wanted to correct your your line work as well, you can do that as well too. Okay. And so, let's say that you wanted to, uh, you know, just correct the the ears. You know, you would uh, a little bit, or like uh yeah so let's just correct the ears okay so we would again use the 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 clone tool the strategy of the the clone tool to uh you know merge the skin with this and whatnot just just to treat it as if it was erasing something okay so you wanted to erase the lobe and whatnot you know just still by using the clone tool And if you wanted to erase this side, you know, you would clone that as well. But this time with the hair, you know. And then that's when you would go into your uh, to your brush tool and go in with your dark color. So you would select the dark color 
you know, and I should uh, be uh, naming the layers. It's it's recommended, and so you know, I I named it line just so it could be a, a line, and then you know, this is when we would you know just draw the ears, and you want to make sure that it's like kind of like the same width, and also the same color in a sense if you're doing your lines. So. I would select the and alt and use the eye drop tool. Select a uh, a dark section from the 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 outline of the copper color or so. And it doesn't seem like it's it's working. It it seems like it's coming out purple. So perhaps if we were to go into the level adjustment, just to uh have this a little bit more darker just to have the line work a little bit more darker and we're playing with the uh, the gray at the middle just to lighten the 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 piece a little bit and and at the same time we're bringing our darks closer to this light area here that's near the right of this uh, level adjustment so we're just gonna like move this a little bit here and you can see that it's, it's it's getting darker the line work is getting a lot darker so it would be a uh, you know we wouldn't have to use the eye drop tool or anything like that we could just use the uh, the brush tool like we were doing before select our dark color and then uh, and then uh, select a, a lower width a lower pixel and we're just go to, gonna go with uh, two just to test that out and uh, yeah but you you'll get the idea of it of correcting your your line work and whatnot and so it's a little it's a little big you, you can you can experiment with that but that's the entire idea of correcting it I'm just using the, the mouse and whatnot and so for like the the finalized piece here so this is like just the finalized piece you know what was corrected here was just the uh, the ear the ears here and then the, the sideburns just to match the the anatomy of the face correctly because it wasn't matching that well here so it was matched in the corrected version and so that's what we have here um, and what I did, I don't, no, no, this is not the finalized version. This is not the finalized version. Let's just, just, okay, this is the finalized version. But uh, nothing much changed from this between this, except for the, the color I did for the hair. Now you could, you know, go back into your, you know, the traditional Copic drawing and then color the hair. But at the same time, you would have also these, all these corrected mistakes that you, that you did with the uh, with the Copic line work and so just to like easily correct the something like this to make the color darker because in, in this one I look like an old a very old person so I decided to have a much more darker color here so I selected the the polygon lasso tool okay and I'm gonna show you this like just a little short clip of what I did to get that dark color and so I'm gonna make a new layer okay this is the uh, the version of the the old the old hair of Marcus the older version and so we're gonna use the you know the polygon lasso and then use that polygon lasso select over the the line work that you want to have darken okay and you could do this you could do this vice versa you know you, you can select dark or you could you could select a black or white either the darkness is going to darken the color you know the lightness is going to lighten the color and and it, and it doesn't matter which color you're doing it on you know it could be uh it could be green or so and you can have it lighten or you could have it darken but for this tutorial you, I'm just going to show darken but it's vice versa for if you're doing it with your white. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know complete this layer, and then I'm gonna use the uh, the, the bucket fill tool after I use the polygon lasso tool to select around it. Okay, and now we have a very dark color here. 
So what we're going to do, as we have this dark color, and we're going to just go to the opacity of that layer, and then we're going to decrease it. Okay. And it, you can decrease it to whatever you know, whatever to your liking. You know, it could be like this, but it wouldn't really be a point if it's at zero opacity. But or you could just we'll just leave it at 50 or something, you know. But you could do the same thing for you know lights. You know, I would just select a a, a white color and then do this just to lighten this up if I wanted to. But I'm I'm not looking to lighten this up. I'm looking to darken this up. And so that's pretty much what I did here. So I'm just going to deselect that. And here you have the uh, the, the the finalized uh, person, the the finalized piece of the uh, some of the corrections that I did. So the only thing that was corrected was the the sideburns, the ears, and whatnot. I I lengthened this using the clone tool and the uh, and the and just the brush and the brushes, you know. And if you want to use your whites here, you can use your whites here. You know, like say if you had a like did a mistake, you know the shading here didn't come out right. You can use a, you know, you can just use a white color, and just you know use the color like hover over, have a white colored brush and then like hover over it. You know, so I'm gonna select that. Then I'm gonna color over it like have more white space here. You know, and, and you kind of, yeah, and you wouldn't tell like really the difference as much. You know, you'll have it some looking clean or, or something like this, or you could have it looking like that. You know, but yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial. You know, and if you wanted to use you know reflective reflective glasses, you would just uh, you know so, you know select a white and then lower the opacity. And that's the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe if this tutorial helped you out. And uh, later.